This is our Divine Light Healing Circle on the summer solstice, at June 21st in 2022. And we are supposed to acknowledge the divine and our part in the divine and the divine in us, meaning we are part of the small part of the bigger part of the divine in all aspects of our being and sometimes a while back we recorded a meditation against being attacked and against being uh, drained and refilling our white light this today feels like a continuum remember i never know what they put in my head to relate uh, in this divine light healing as we are going to heal people on our healing list but also doing a healing for our own self as well and possibly also the beings on the planet and our planet mother earth so um what i'm told right now is that in all this adversary energy we are supposed to surrender to the divine as well because this whole scenarios of attack or discord are only part of the bigger picture which we sometimes do not see so we are asked to give it over and ask spirit if some mishap happens is that part of your plan or and do we not see the bigger picture or if it's not part of your plan please take care of it because i might not have the energy or power or drive to take care of constant thrive that should bring us into a flow by giving ourselves over to the divine flow trusting that it's right instead of fighting uh, for something, for our rights, for whatever we think we need to fight and be against or being defensive about. So right now, this will all fizzle away. I'm told this energy of thrive or energy of fizzling attacks nibbling on our energies will fall off in the upcoming time in the next three to four days to make more room for the calm flow of energy and to bring things over to the divine and um, like thy will be done the divine the godly will will be done um, on our behalf exudes trust and with that trust comes the positive flow and sometimes we think something isn't right and actually if we're working back when we look back we're realizing that something was at play which uh, made it really right when we have the bigger picture so we are asked to trust the bigger picture even if we only see a tiny part of that picture right now and we might not understand it or feel aggravated about it so if something tackles you ask is this your will if it's the divine will i will go along and i will be revealed the bigger truth if it's not the divine will please take care of it and let me be done with it so to not get engaged and entangled and in that we calling in the divine light with the white brilliant light of light workers around the globe from the universal oneness that comes and fills us from the top of our head going into every single cell of our brain eyes nose mouth throat and neck shoulders arms hands and out of our fingertips along the spine it flows into our back muscle structure it goes into the heart and chest opening both wide into the solar plexus to make it more radiant into the whole digestive system into the hips legs knees calves feet and through the feet into the ground like roots all old non-supportive beliefs and energies of the day and weeks and last months can be swept away into mother earth for recycling where just glistening white light prevails purifying and sensitizing 
our being and attuning it to the higher powers of the divine. And then we are letting the white light overflow from the heart into our aura, into our electromagnetic field, cleansing and clearing there what needs to be cleansed and cleared and filling out all energy holes. With every single breath, we take in the white lighter energy, readying us for healing purposes within our own body and within the energy bodies of others. Further, we are bringing in the white silver sparkling diamond light, which has all the hues of the rainbow in a metallic sparkling translucent way, bringing that in through our body and also in a crusty form as a protective shield around our aura system, keeping us safe and secure Nothing can penetrate this shielding, which is also associated with the shield of Archangel Michael, which we are allowed to borrow. It's highly reflective, highly indestructible, highly impenetrable by low frequency energies and keeping us focused and strong throughout this meditation and healing. And then the purple lights come in to cleanse and clear our energy field and environment. The purple dancing flames of transformation burning off all those energies within us and outside of us which are not conducive to our and other people's well-being. And further along flows the orange, amber, sparkling light of healing and cleansing and collapsing ethereal gaps in our energy field. This orangey sparkling amber light comes from the universal oneness flowing through us and it flows exactly in any kind of energy holes or any kind of ethereal gap where it needs to go to heal and blend. and also through our feet into Mother Earth for recycling all those energies which are not any longer needed and filling also energy gaps and holes in Mother Earth's energy field to harmonize and bridge energy fields to make Earth energies also more coherent fields. And today we are supposed to bring in a tanzanite light, the blue purplish magenta frequency of tanzanite transmuting and transforming all offset energy of any kind of dark force, just in case we're bringing it through our bodies, cleansing, clearing, and transforming and transmuting that which is not ours. And any kind of hooks have been put into our energy fields. Totally get softened and dissolved instantly and effortlessly. As a tensionite light also flows flows through every single part of our body and flows through the feet into Mother Earth to be utilized in her body as well.
And as the tensonite light flows from our heart into our aura, it does its transmuter, transmuting and transformatory thing, cleansing, clearing, transforming, disruptional energies and dispersing anything which doesn't belong to make room for that of the higher order which belongs. And at this moment in our circle, we are calling in helping energies, guiding ones, guardians, helpers of many kingdoms, And I'm seeing right now the bird kingdom coming and flying behind each and every one of our circle family here of the divine light healing circle. As if it would be huge eagles who take and hook in on our clothing or shoulders to lift us up, high up into the sky to get an eagle's perspective on what's going on. And as, <clears throat> as we are flying higher and higher, easily and naturally, we're getting a perspective from above. Seeing Mother Earth from above and seeing the true beauty of our planet. Racing through the Milky Way at a tremendous speed. Beautiful blue lots of water and we absorb the peacefulness of this image. And as we are absorbing the peacefulness of this image, we are sending the peace of the cosmos and the universe onto Mother Earth. Peace for all beings with ease and grace. Transmuting and transforming open or hidden aggression, passive aggressiveness, and any frequency out of sorts, supporting any kind of aggression and discord. For that, we are channeling further the white light from the universal oneness, flowing in a strong, strong stream towards our heart and out of our heart, like a laser beam, like an illuminating light into various areas on our planet. May it be war zones, may it be poverty areas, may it be natural catastrophe areas, may it be areas of family disharmonies, May it be areas of desperational feelings. All those get be cleansed and cleared and illuminated by the heart of the divine central cosmic white light.
as the white light flows of our heart and through our heart, our heart chakra widens tremendously with every single breath. And not only does the white light beam out of our heart widens, our whole aura and energy field widens as well. And as we are getting lighter and lighter, the more we let the white light flow through our body, we totally transform into a spirit cloud, light shining bright, formless, boundless, only consisting of a heartfelt field. The radiance of the radiant heart is our core existence. It feels like a vapor of love, pure, and all encompassing. And as the eagles let us go, as we are now be able to float ourselves, we are floating gently towards Mother Earth, stretching our existence, embracing the whole planet, Yes, so vast beings we have become. Embracing the whole globe of Mother Earth and touching and dipping and dancing around all the areas where dread rules to change the energy field, we can tip with our imaginary fingers and shift by touch. And so the white light dances contagiously from one being to another, from one situation to another. White light engulfs every single atom of that which is on earth and within Mother Earth. It is like a huge house cleanse, sweeping off the dust of long formed thought forms of negativity. to be transformed into light. Resistance is futile. As now it is the light turn to upswing the energy to the next level. Nothing can hide in the darkness anymore as there is no darkness at this moment. Everything is illuminated.
as if a light shines through opal. You can see various shades of color shining through, which are the various shades of energy fields from people and humans and plants and situations. But this white light rearranges atoms and subatomic areas so that nothing too dense can be concealing itself in dark corners. The light shines through everything. Like X-rays, it penetrates the whole body of Mother Earth and everything which is on it. You even yourself might feel a tingling sensation as this vibration reaches your own physical body. For that purpose, it is important to be grounded with your feet so that you can hold the full impact of the white purifying light. And as we focused on the three dimensional forms to transmute and transform the darkest corners, we are now focusing on the fluid and gas like forms, the emotional bodies on this planet and the mental bodies and also the watery bodies, our physical form containing water. Every single drop in our body gets purified as DNA get purified, as our emotional body gets purified, as our mental body gets purified and as the oceans get purified. And as we are still in spirit form, like a spirit cloud of white light, we are now merging with the oceans and spreading our energy field a little bit wider. merge like oxygen with the water, oxygenating and cleansing and clearing waterly bodies of the earth, stagnant waters start moving and being refreshed and renewed. Water pollutions are transformed and transmuted, disintegrated into particle forms. Plastic deteriorates into a more natural and organic matter from which it once was created. This white light energy seems to sort through the elements and brings them back in order to where they naturally belong. We do not have to completely understand the process of what the white light does, only that it works right. We do not need to know exactly 
what is happening at this moment, only that we are a portal and a gateway and that every single atom of our being shines brightly and our energy body in this ethereal form engulfs the planet and every single part of us radiates out transformator, transformatory energy directive. And while we are the space holder for this energy, our energy bodies now condenses back to a similarity of our physical form. And we are guided to a special spot in the universe. Actually, it is on our planet Earth. It is a field with beautiful flowers and dancing beautiful butterflies. As we see this field of healing and lightheartedness and upliftedness, we are supposed to sit even in a circle there. And all light beings and guiding ones sitting with us again in that circle. We can see who these beings are who are assisting us on the purpose for healing. as there are myriads of butterflies on that flowery field, they are directed curiously to see what's going on with these beings sitting in the circle which are us. And these butterflies go exactly to the spots in our body which need healing physically, or emotionally or mentally. So you might find a butterfly going and burrowing into your heart or into your brain or into your throat or into your shoulders. They're finding the exact spot where you need lightheartedness and upliftedness. And with that, the butterflies take over the energy clearing with their flapping wings, clearing out distortions and clearing out anything which is heavy. Heaviness in the heart, heaviness in the mind, heaviness in our feelings and emotional bodies. You might even have butterflies aligning along your spine to make it more straight, that you can stay strong. Whatever they do, pay attention to what they're doing because they give you a message to the area in which they work in and on. as they might have little light spidery helpers like the little nanites. Which weave in union with the butterflies.
you might see little golden threads. Aligning your weakest spot and connecting you with an area in the universe which can support that weakest spot to make it stronger. Strings and strands might appear to support your own healing and boosting you with energy fuel wherever you need it. Physically, emotionally, mentally, or even spiritually. And as we are still getting healed, we are allowed now to bring in all the people from our list into our healing circle on this field of healing with the butterflies. And I'm calling in now all people which we have on our list with cancer. Please come into our circle. And these little nanites and butterflies work again together on fixing organs, perceptions, side effect from medications, on those folks. Meanwhile, we are holding space and at the same time get worked on. And we're seeing that the white light we emanated is now changing colors to whatever the group needs. Healing frequencies emanate from our heart easily and naturally as our body is becoming a stronger and stronger gateway. Detoxifying silver is now coming into the center of the circle and flowing so every single person with the diseasement of what we call cancer to detox those areas affected from the previous cancer or burned areas from treatment, healing and smoothing over those areas. And as these people are still get healed further, we're calling in the emotional distressed people, distressed from depression, people going through divorce, pharmaceutical detox, drug overdoses, or general distress. We're calling now those people into the circle. As our circle gets wider, to make room for those people, these newcomers. And immediately the butterflies together with the little nanites who carry God's intention of healing, go to work as the ones who are emotionally distressed surrender to the higher order. And while those are worked on, 
The next group is coming in distressed animals and pregnant women with distressed babies, people with severe disease, COVID sufferers, Parkinson's, MS, many different forms, high blood pressure, mold infections, hernias, and then people even emotionally distressed going through transgender modifications or their families. People with multiple injuries, Lyme disease, people in transition from this life into the next, people with general fatigue, overworked, people with age-related disease like Alzheimer's or mobility issues, people with kidney stones, adverse vaccine reactions, Huntington disease, and just in general, overwhelm. People with infertility issues or had miscarriages or even general aftermath after severe accidents. All those people on our list are invited now into the circle to get healed by the lightheartedness and upliftedness of the universal delight facilitated by butterfly energies and by the God's intent working through its gold little spidery intelligent beings, which we call nanites. weaving and reconstructing what needs to be reconstructed, fixing and smoothing over what needs to be fixed and smoothed over, detoxifying what needs to be detoxified, rearranging modules, rearranging emotional fields, rearranging vibrational fields. And now we are also calling in people on the uh, planet who feel generally crushed by life, who just feel life is too heavy, life is too distressing, life is too depressing to go on. We call them into this beautiful environment and ask them to accept a butterfly into their heart so that they can feel the wings opening and closing and opening and closing, tickling the heavy heart and the heavy mind, giving hope for joy, laughter, ease and grace. And for the laughter and joy and the ease and grace, we're calling in now spirits of lighthearted children who are coming here onto this meadow to visit. Children who still remember their heritage of the divine seeing everything with ease and grace and having a hearty laugh. We're hearing the laughter of children coming in as they want to play tag with the ones who feel depressed, challenging them to a new energy field. 
some of the little kids even go to the adults to tickle them, like sometimes adults tickle the youngsters to make them squeal. Before long, we can see a horde of babbling, laughing kids disrupting the solemn field of healing, bringing a healing chaos into the solemn energy of dis-ease and distress. Because with that, lightheartedness and upliftedness will be multiplied. Laughter multiplies lightheartedness. So whenever you hear the laughter of a child, take it in as medicine to your heart and soul. And may you always remind yourself of this healing medal where transformation is possible when you hear laughter or laughter of a child. You are invited to come here by yourself and lay onto the meadow and asking the butterflies and the little nanites to do its healing work. Whether it's simple work on bruises or on more difficult things like heart wolf replacements or anything heavy lesions in the body to be removed and healed, whatever it may be, you're invited to come. And you have also earned the right to call in all these light beings and guiding ones who insist on helping us now as this is their purpose to help heal their designated purpose. So let any light being and guiding one help you and touch you wherever it's needed to transmute and transform. And as this laughter energy multiplies in the circle, soon all the being from the inside of the circle who came here for healing are now joining us and we are building a huge circle of healed beings ready to heal others. With that, with the new widened multiplied circle, and the kids in our midst joining our circle of healing, we thank now our healing partner to the left. And we thank now our healing partners to the right. And we thank the eagles who lifted us up and the all the other beings who were of service with us and for us today. as we are now slowly and gently bringing our energy field back together and condensing back and journeying back towards our body. reintegrating our spirit body with the physical form. Aligning our energy bodies with our physical body and merging our energy field back in our auric field 
our electromagnetic field surrounding our physical form. May this merger be complete to the higher order as we are now conjoining with our own healed body and energy field. So you might feel some areas in your body regrouping and reconfigurating right now. You might feel a little bit pressure here or a little bit tingle there or a little bit light spark here and there. That's normal for the integration of what just has happened. We are grateful to receive all this healing. Till we meet again.